Hi, my name is David Johnson from Epiphany Marketing, and I want to show you real quickly how to fix the timthumb.php vulnerability in your WordPress theme. I have uh, known about this problem here uh, for a couple of weeks now, and I didn't act on it right away. And I will tell you, I woke up this morning to a bunch of notifications from my websites that things weren't working correctly and a notification from my web hosting provider that said we've had to turn uh, off access to your website because you are sending out your uh, your website is serving as a relay for spam emails and I immediately thought of this timthumb.php problem and realized you know what I waited too long to fix the problem myself and so I'm gonna show you real quickly the steps that I use to fix this problem and you will be safe from being hacked if you follow these instructions first of all let's talk about what the problem is really quickly uh, the script that is responsible for this vulnerability that we have today is called timthumb.php alright and this is a third-party script that's used in a lot of more advanced WordPress themes. When I say it's a third-party script, uh, in my case, it was not developed by the people who developed the themes that we use. And in fact, they just incorporated it into their work, as do many, many other WordPress theme developers, because it's a great little script. Here's what it does. Basically, it's responsible for dynamic image resizing. What that means is that it will create situations where you can upload a picture of one size, and you can allow that picture to be another size when it's actually shown up on screen. Now, I'm not talking about the built-in WordPress thumbnailing feature. You know, every time you upload a picture, or an image of any kind inside your WordPress posts or pages, it will try to generate multiple sizes for you, including a thumbnail size. This is not that. In other words, the problem that we're referring to is not inside WordPress itself. It's only going to show up in certain types of themes, and especially it gets used for sliders and graphics a lot of times. If you have a slider on your site, it's possible, in fact, it may be even likely, it's safe to use the word likely, that your theme is using timthumb.php. And what it amounts to is you upload a picture and you say, I want this to show up in the slider, but you didn't design the picture to be the right size. You may or may not even know what the right size is, but your website just sort of handles that for you and makes it work out okay. Well, if you have a feature like that on your website, then it's possible that you're having this issue. This is an example of a site. Uh, this is RobinsonCreativeInc.com. Robinson Creative has been in the process of building this website with us here actually for the last uh, couple of months. And this site uh, has this gorgeous slider across the uh, home page of it that you can see sort of cycling through images. And the script that's behind making this work is called timthumb.php. This is one of the sites that we had to fix. This is another example example this is one of our clients crystalclearfinances.com crystal langdon is a financial advisor from new york and she has this uh, theme that was actually developed by woo themes and woo themes relies on the timthumb.php script in every one of their themes and so if you have a woo theme then automatically you need to uh, fix your site so i'm going to show you how it works but real quickly i just want to point out this was discovered a few weeks ago by <clears throat> mark monder from markmonder.com he posted this post the zero day vulnerability in many wordpress themes he identified the problem quickly worked uh, with the folks who developed the tim thumb script to create a workaround and has actually come up with another couple of solutions for it but essentially if you have timthumb.php he describes uh, in this blog post specifically what uh, the technical details are of the vulnerability. The bottom line is if you have this script working on your site you have to replace it and big kudos goes out to Matt Mullenweg the founder of WordPress for getting the word out through his blog on August the 8th and also linking back to some possible solutions for you. Now there are various ways to get this problem solved. You can pay someone to do it. There are services you can use but you can do it yourself and I'll show you real quickly today exactly how to do it without having to pay someone to fix the problem for you. You can do it yourself, all right? If you have a WordPress site, it's uh, not terribly hard to do. I do want to mention this. If your theme doesn't have this kind of uh, resizing feature in it to dynamically create new sizes of images, or if it just doesn't use timthumb.php, you're safe. All right, so what should you do if you are affected by this problem? First of all, you need to download the latest version of timthumb.php. 
Secondly, and I'm going to show you each of these steps step by step in just a moment, you want to FTP into your web server. Use the FTP protocol to access your web server. You're going to navigate to the affected file, delete the old one, upload the new version, and then test everything. And actually the test step is only necessary just to make sure that you didn't make any errors along the way. The new version of timthumb.php does exactly what the old version does. It just doesn't do it with a vulnerability. All right, so solving it is pretty straightforward. Let's start with step one and we'll go through the specific instructions. First thing we need to do is download the timthumb.php script. Here's how I suggest you find it. Of course, I'll link to it with this video and blog post, but if you go to google.com and type in Tim Thumb Script, all right, that's a safe Google search to use, Tim Thumb Script. The second result here is the code.google.com p Tim Thumb site, all right? This is the place where the script is actually hosted. Uh, the actual project is hosted on Google. And you can right click right here save link as and download the script to your computer and save it where you want it to go alright now I've done this already but I'm gonna just overwrite the one that's there and replace it okay so you get the idea there is how to get Tim Thumb on your computer and so the next step that we want to take is we want to actually FTP into a website the site I'm gonna fix right now is one of the ones that I just showed you which is the um, crystalclearfinances.com website all right, so we're going to log into this website. Here's crystalclearfinances.com, and I have already launched FileZilla on my computer. This is the FileZilla software that I use. You can download this software for free if you don't already have an FTP client. It's readily available for you. And we are looking at the WordPress install. You can tell this is the WordPress install because we have these three subfolders WP admin content and includes. The place that you're most likely going to find timthumb.php is going to be in your theme folder, which means you need to go to wp-content. I'm going to double click on that. And then you need to find themes, which is a subfolder. And you want to look for the folder that belongs to the theme that you are using on your site. In her case, she's using a theme from WooThemes called Boast. I'm going to double click there. And basically, all we need to do is scroll down and find the, the implementation of Tim Thumb. Now, if you're using a Woo theme, it's going to be called Thumb.php. They actually renamed it, which is great if you're using a Woo theme because it meant that it bought you a little more time. It was harder for someone who was trying to exploit this problem to locate your website uh, because it was not called timthumb.php. I don't know why they did it, but the WooThemes folks chose to rename the file. That means that you're going to need to find Tim or timthumb.php. In this case, it's called thumb.php. If uh, your site is not from WooThemes, then your your file will most likely be called timthumb.php. You want to delete the file. All right, just blow it up. And I've already downloaded it, as, as I said, to my computer. And so now I'm going to right-click and up upload timthumb.php to this uh, web server. Over here, though, remember, this file was called thumb.php, and that's what the theme is going to be looking for. So I can't leave it titled timthumb.php. I actually have to rename it to thumb.php in this case. You just need to make sure that whatever your theme called the file that you had, you replace that file with, a, with the same file name. All right, so when you upload timthumb.php, make sure that you have the file end up being named what it was named before you deleted the old one. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh crystalclearfinances.com, and I know that it's working correctly because her slider is working. All right, if I uh, were to have refreshed this and it didn't show up or we had you know error messages here, then we would know that we were not successful. Literally, that's it. It's a very simple... Uh, process to jump in there and replace the appropriate file. You just want to download timthumb.php to your computer, use FTP to access your web server, navigate to the old file as I showed you, delete the old one, upload the new version, make sure you name it correctly, and then test your website to make sure everything is working okay. If you have questions about this, make sure to make a comment on this video or blog post, and we will do our best to respond and make sure that you have a good answer to the problem or question that you're uh, dealing with. I want to thank you again. My name is David Johnson. I appreciate that you have taken a few moments to watch this. I hope that you found the video helpful to you. And if you're trying to grow your small business, then you can find great information about growing your small business by visiting epiphanymarketing.com. Check out our blog there. Uh, download a free gift from us and subscribe to our blog and we will make sure to keep you up to date on all the latest tips and trends that you need to be aware of in growing your small business in the 21st century. Once again, I'm David Johnson. Thanks for watching.